Oh, come on, Jello, she's not fair. If you get to tell the story, you were in it. Ah, oh, fine, fine, you can tell the stupid story. Yes! Now the story's going to have the catapult in it. You have to tell the story as it happened. No freaking catapults. Oh, shucks. Fine, Cleon, you can do it. Oh. Well, why did you even show up, then, Captain Idiot? All right. So Zalos had to traverse the bonus dungeon, which really wasn't that hard at all, actually. He doesn't really know what the point of the bonus dungeon was, but it was cool and it had awesome music. Unlike this place, whose music doesn't really match the tone of the dungeon at all. But that happens. Because of darkness. Hey, 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 don't you be taking that. Don't you be taking that, Mr. Cleone. That didn't even make sense. Yeah, I don't know. No. Ah, Cosido Nolan. Okay, fine, Cosido. What happened next? Well, Zealous was killed by Cosido Nolan, the angel. <laughs> so, I went to this place, and there's Trinax just kind of hanging out. Yes, I said. Trinax is my favorite boss of all time, and he's actually the final boss of the entire Parallel Worlds game. Isn't that freaking awesome? It so is awesome. It's the most awesomest thing I've ever seen in my entire freaking life. Trinax actually finishing the game off. Trinax could not be interviewed or part of the story, unfortunately. Holy crap! Very well. So, after Zelos' triumphant defeat of Trinax, he decided to play a new Zelda game called The Hero of Dreams. Ah, good old hero of dreams. Virtually flawless, in my opinion. Not many jerkish moments at all. In fact, it had a really good story as well. And everything moved pretty smoothly in it. Ah, huh. except your ten deaths or so. Well, shut up, Cleon. It was the first custom Zelda quest I had played. And in more ways than one, it was not only the first I let's played, but it was also... The first that I had managed to finish. Ah, that makes sense. Okay, is there more? But yes, the Hero of Dreams had quite a good storyline, if I do say so myself, so it does actually work the other way then because of that. Yes. And once Hero of Dreams was done, you embarked on a dangerous quest. Yeah. Called what again, Zelos? What was it called? Ah, uh, Dawn to Twilight. That was the next Zelda quest I ended up playing, and it had, you know, not much for story, but it was an NES tile set quest, so I didn't expect much storyline. Dungeons were pretty well designed, except level eight was sucked hardcore. But we managed to get past that, albeit a, a bit of editing on my part to fix the. The tile warps and the side warp problem with the dungeon entrances and everything. But yes, otherwise it did work out pretty well. I'll say. Didn't you rate that a super high rating? Well, no, not really. I, I might have even rated it too high for what I gave it, but... You know, he was coming out with a deluxe version. I never knew, I never know what happened to that deluxe version anyway, if he ever finished that or not. I'm actually kind of interested to know if he did. But yes, he told me he'd fix it, and make it better for next time, and I believe him, because overall it still was a pretty good quest. I just wish level 8 didn't exist, Deep Darkness. As much as I love you, Deep Darkness, I hated your gut so much, Deep Darkness. Alright. Yes, and now, here comes the puzzle dude ready for your next challenge. Oh crap, what is it? It is the Legend of Zelda, Goddess of Wisdom. Oh man, that sounds cool. In fact, Frankie was telling me to play that game. Maybe I should play it as a surprise to him. Yes, you should. So, Team UDF started... Ooh, right, 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 right. So, Team UDF started doing that. And, I don't know, so far this game has been pretty good. It's... I don't know whether to classify it as annoying or difficult. I mean, it has a little bit of both. But this, this... Wait a minute. There's gotta be something here. Ah! Okay. I was gonna say. Is there any more? No? Okay. So this is the final strut. Ah, so that's in my way now. Okay. Ooh, I hope I didn't move that too early. Mm, 
be able to cheat this. I need to be able to get around. Alright. And really, I don't know. I've heard a lot of complaints about the dungeons in this game, but so far they haven't been terrible. Some of them are pretty, uh... Not terribly straightforward. It's too far, uh... I need to pull it down a bit. Actually, I can do that here. Okay. No, no, things like this, though, they're, they're not really hard. They're just extremely tedious. And tedious puzzles are definitely not the best kinds of puzzles. Because they're not really puzzles. They're just kind of, like, annoying the player. But otherwise, so far, I've, had, I've enjoyed this game pretty much. Uh, not much of a story here either. I mean, I guess we're getting some story from the the Maidens. Definitely not as much as we did in Parallel Worlds. In Parallel Worlds, the Maidens actually almost gave us the whole story, really. The only question is how I proceed from here. I'm supposed to push this all the way up, actually. Uh, no, no, I need, it. I need it to go back over. There we go. No. Oh, it's not going over now. I think it glitched. Oh, it glitched. Did it move? To, did it move to the right? Is that what happened? What happened? Why can't I get under that? Well, that's weird. Okay, hold on. I better. What happened? Yeah, I was, I was right here. What happened? <laughs> Why did it do that? That's weird. Yeah, I rewinded. You know why? Because I'm not redoing this. Because it's not a puzzle. <laughs> oh, that's what happened! Okay. So for some reason, that glitch, that made it all glitchy. Weird. Oh, I just did it again. Oh, puzzle dude, that's just broken, man. I mean, come on. <laughs> You're gonna let the player get all the way here, and then you're gonna break the- You're gonna let the puzzle be broke- Ah, no, it's not broken, okay. But Well, that still begs the question of what I actually do here. What do I do here? I'm actually starting to think I should've, uh... I kinda wanna- There we go, that's what I want. Okay. I was gonna say, he couldn't- He couldn't have possibly- let that happen. Because <laughs> I would have flipped out on him. Alright. So that is it for this puzzle. I don't even think I finished my story. I just kind of started talking about crap. But whatever! Okay, so I guess the rewinds didn't cheat because they weren't necessary. Because that was there the whole time. But that's good to know. Alright. Okay. Unfortunately, we're going to have to do that again if we ever leave. Hmm. Okay, we still got about half the episode. Let's check out this place and see what it has for us. For reals this time! In all honesty, if the rewind actually affected the outcome of the puzzle, I would have probably restarted the whole recording session and redone the puzzle, just because I hate it that much. But, it turned out to not be cheating, so I'm okay with it. Man, this is kind of a neat way to design things. That's the other thing that's kind of neat about this game, is some of the designs are pretty cool. You know, for the most part, uh, Omega, Seth, Puzzle Dude, and all, whoever the crap else were. Oh yeah, Francis, because I had the Francis Games as that joke. Yeah. Cool. A little late, but I still managed to hit it. Yeah! Okay. I don't know if I wanted that, though. I guess I did. Huh. There's a key. 
Locked door. Okay then. So what's in this? Arrows. We need arrows. Uh, let's see where we can end up. Can't go that way. This has bombs. Can go this way though. All right. Oh. Which magical wonders await us in hell? Oh no! I still love how the. I, st I, I still can't get over how the hookshot killed those things in one hit. Doesn't make. Doesn't make any sense to me. Nor does this. But I guess there's nothing here. Huh. All right. <laughs> I don't, maybe there's an upstairs? I don't know. It's like it's weird that there's nothing there. Alright, let's continue onward. Okay. Does the statue move? No. Okay. Uh, let's see, what's over here? This is just the way I came, but now I can, like, get a different... I don't know. Are there any other ways open? Oh. Ooh, a key! Yum! Alright, so there's two keys waiting for us. And I don't know how to get that other one. It's kind of off the... Oh, crap, where was it? It's over here, so... There. Okay, it's right over there. How do I get to that? I didn't really check too well. Probably have to come at, at it from the side or something. Wait, no, because I can't hook shot across these. It's not Zelda Classic. Stop, stop thinking it's Zelda Classic. Want to play Zelda Classic? I'll stop. I still can't believe I haven't played the first two NES quests. Like that's terrible on my part. I don't think I want to fall yet. Oh, because it seems like something that could screw me over if I do it wrong. So let's hopefully not do it wrong. And do it right. I don't know if those are pits or if they're just uh, pain. Can't check that already. Oh man. Oh crap, I have to go that way. Okay. Well, that's good to know, I guess. So, I, don't, I don't know if it's gonna get worse or if people just hated the statue puzzle. I mean, I hated the statue puzzle. Even though I keep saying it's not a puzzle, but yet I continue to refer to it as a puzzle. Because I'm just used to doing that stuff. Oh wait, I had to go up. So, I don't know. Okay, here's hoping we don't die. Ow. <laughs> There's a switch. Reach that with the boomerang. Crap. Well, Kane of uh, Samaria's in range of that. Oh, wait, what the heck? A heart piece? Weird. <laughs> We've got 20 hearts. Oh, dang it. Alright. I don't know, that's a bit unfair. Like, I have to rely. Oh, wait, I have to switch the thing. I have to search them for keys, but. They don't all have keys. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, I can't smart, do you all time? Do you all time? And next time, we'll be going through that door? Wait a minute. Oh, I can't, can't uh, boomerang card pieces. Okay, so next time, that thing I just said. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye! Maybe more random story time another time. Woohoo!